Hello everyone, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 8.6 in the second edition of my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. The second edition is not published yet but I am working on it. This is a continuation of example 8.5, to plot shear stress, S12, versus shear strain, gamma 12. The nonlinearity of the plot is caused by transverse matrix damage under in plane shear. You should review example 8.5 before this one, because most of the modeling is done in 8.5. First, select the work directory. Then, open the CAE file from example 8.5. Then, save it as EX 8.6 shear. Open the step manager. Select the step called transverse, and rename it as shear. Edit the step, tab incrementation, type fixed, number of increments 50, increment size 3, OK, dismiss. In menu load, open the boundary conditions manager, to apply shear by imposing a displacement U1 on step shear. Select the step traction and rename it as shear. Then edit, uncheck U2, check U1, value 0.4, OK, dismiss. This boundary condition, together with the constraint to be applied later, will produce this type of shear deformation. In module interaction, use menu, constraint, to create an interaction. Select node region, not surface, pick the vertical line at x equals 0, done. Then, pick the vertical line at x equals 10, done. Then, discretization method is surface to surface, really node region to node region, and in position tolerance, specify the distance between the two regions, 10. Uncheck one item, leave the other as is. In module job, we just have to submit the job. When you click results, it takes you to module visualization. From the top menu, pick history output. Then, select the first entry that says E12 and save it with name E12. Then, select the first entry that says S12 and save it with name S12. From the top menu, select Tools, XY Data, Create, to create a XY Data Set. Now pick Operate on XY Data. From the Operator's options on the right, select Combine XX. Now select the E12 defined earlier and click, Add to Expression, then manually add a comma. Then select the S12 defined earlier and click, Add to Expression. Save that with a name. OK. That defines what we can plot. Then click Plot. Now we see a stress versus strain plot, 
and that strain on the abscissa is epsilon 1 2. But usually we need to plot stress versus the engineering strain, gamma 1 2. For that we have to define another operator, and in it, divide the shear strain by 2, using the division operator. And now we plot again. What we see is stress versus gamma 1 2. The peak value is at about 0 0.012 gamma, that is 1.2% gamma, coinciding with the plot shown in the textbook. Okay, that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.